I can tell you. And this morning in our series, School Matters, we are looking at how our friends at Sesame Street are helping kids handle the stress of going back to school. Sesame Workshop teamed up with the meditation app Headspace to create a series of monster meditation videos and books, also a new podcast called Good Night World. They teach meditation and mindfulness tricks to help little ones relax and fall asleep, and we can all root for that. In this monster meditation clip, Grover struggles to do oh, many so things at, mo at once, <laughs> too many things, you might say, and so Andy from Headspace teaches Grover to slow down, find a special rhythm, and focus on one task at a time. When you have so much to do, breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> Count one, two, then do. Now I shall have breakfast. Mm. Nice job, Grover. Mm. Mm. You're really moving through all the things you wanted to do. Ah, I am. <laughs> and I'm pleased to say that Grover joins us now. <laughs> Grover, good morning. <laughs> we also have Rosemary Trulio. She's the Senior Vice President of Curriculum and Content at Sesame Workshop. Good morning to both of you. Grover, when I heard a furry celebrity was going to be here this morning, I was very excited, and I'm even more excited to see that it's you. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, it is me! Live and in the fur! Hey, can we watch some more cartoons? Well, that cartoon was a good one because it was teaching kids how to relax, and you learned one of the first big lessons in that monster meditation. How's it been going? Oh, I'd love to meditate. Yeah, yeah, mindfulness exercises, they, they help me to slow down and feel calmer. Yeah? Yeah. What are some of the things you get nervous about, Grover? N me? Get nervous? <laughs> you mean like uh, uh, being in front of uh, millions <laughs> of people on live television and stuff like that? Stuff like that, yeah. yeah. Stuff like that. I get really nervous. <laughs> oh my goodness, I get nervous. But, but it is okay, it is okay. Yeah, because, uh, you know, there are all sorts of things you can do. Like, uh, you can take deep belly breaths, right? How does that work? How does that work, Grover? Well, you know, you breathe in through your nose and you go. And then you let it all out. Oh. <laughs> and how does that make you feel better? I agree with you. How does it make you feel better? Well, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, it calms me down. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it does not make all those millions of people go away, but... <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary, so many kids are experiencing heightened anxiety now because of everything we've been through and going back to school. Talk about that a little bit. Well, children and, and we all have big feelings, and children have a range of feelings. Like, you could be nervous, you could be worried, but you could also be yeah. excited, and sometimes you get frustrated and disappointed. But with children, they have these feelings, but they don't have the words. They don't know what, how to describe what, the, what they're feeling. So yeah. the first part is to provide the word and say, are you feeling nervous? Give it a, a, a label. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then to validate how they're feeling. And don't say, oh, you're going to be fine. That doesn't help children. Mm -hmm. So once they have the label, once they feel that their emotion is validated, then they need these strategies, these tools. We all need these tools. Yeah. And we need a whole toolbox of, of, of I strategies. Love, I love Mary, your voice is so soothing. <laughs> it's soothing. It calms me down just well, listening that's, to you. That's good. It's, and that's, a, that's one of the, the skills, right? To listen to it, a felt, soothing story. Right? That's how I felt listening to Anne and headspace and the, the collaboration because I find his voice so soothing too but you said that it's important for adults to help children identify what we all call what we all have big feelings you said that's right and and big feelings are okay to have yeah right you don't want to suppress them right you want children to understand that I'm having a big feeling and I'm going to call it frustration or disappointment mm -hmm. or worry or nervousness, mm -hmm. and then help them figure out, well, how can we make this big feeling feel better? Like, mm -hmm. it's not a light switch. It doesn't go off in a, in, a, in a second. But what can I do to calm that big feeling down so then we can talk about what's going on? And then, more importantly, how we're going to move on to the next activity. Right. So oh, Grover, can, you, Grover. Can, you record, can you record your voice so I can listen to it later? <laughs> oh, Grover. Oh, okay, Grover, we, we could work something out. Grover, you, you learned, you learned a, a breathing exercise, right, to help you fall asleep? Can you share it with us? Well, sure. Well, you know, they're, they, they belly breaths, but I also, um, you know, I like to wind down uh, by imagining a cute little soap bubble. Yeah, that is what I do. That and works I just, very well. Yeah, yeah let's, let's all watch a cute little soap bubble. Let's all imagine it floating up. Up into the air. 
That works. Not very exciting television, Surprisingly but effective. Hey, we're all calm now, right? Yes, yes, yes. Grover, what about reading? A lot of kids like books. Some of them may even like the Monster Meditation book. Do you have a favorite book at bedtime? Well, my mommy, uh, I like for my mommy to read to me at night that bedtime story because her voice is also very soothing. It is very soothing, but uh, nobody here knows the end of The Three Little Pigs, do you? Because I, I, I never can get to the end of that one. I always fall asleep before we get to the end. Speaking of parents, Rosemary, what, how can parents help in this situation? Well, first of all, children are watching us. Yeah. yeah. So it's always. They're always watching. They're watching even when you don't think they're watching. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. so it's really important for all of us because these meditation skills are not just for children. They're for all of us to learn and to have in our toolbox because we're going to have reactions and we're going to have uh, big, big feelings and emotions. So the whole idea is to know what these practices are, belly breathing, imagining, uh, counting to four, um, and, and to use them yourself, to practice these skills and to use them yourself right. so that when we have a big feeling your child is seeing how we're handling it, managing it, and then to help them practice, mm -hmm. right? Because there's no such thing as one tool is going to be the, the magic bullet. Yeah. And we yeah. want them to have a range of Need skills. A couple yes. of tools. We great. used to have to count to 10. Now you're saying count, count to, to four. four. <laughs> I like following the soap bubble. Grover, thank you for that tip. I feel much better. Are you are you, Grover. And Good thank you for you. being here, Rosemary. Thank, thank you, you as well. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Good Night World from Sesame Workshop and Headspace is available wherever you get your podcasts.